the regional inter travel. We have resolved that we need an interim date for reopening of Entebbe International Airport. Yes, we are requesting for within two to one month. But even if it is next year, then I get to know that I have 100,000 on me. Now the question is, how do I survive for the next remaining months on that figure? So it is also on the planning side. But even on the side of the airlines, you're not going to wake up and be like the next day you open and they will have to be, to, to be here. Because the moment you put forward the SOPs in place, then the airlines also need to plan accordingly of how they are going to implement them. We can't begin by having scheduled flights. The prescribed 14 days quarantine is actually a deterrent to tourism or to visitor arrivals in Uganda. Dubai, already for them what they are saying, you must have a certificate that you have you are COVID free, which is not more than 96 hours. Rwanda has put this at 72 hours because Rwanda has already opened. They opened the last weekend. And I don't see why we should be pushing this even in September. We should give them just two weeks. I, for one, I have been paying my staff that I have retained for the last five months. And I have also told my staff that after September, it may not be possible for me to pay any salaries because I won't have any money to even survive as an individual. I don't 